Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss 4 pros to priority encoder. Let's try to understand what is priority encoder. So, in my previous lecture, I have discussed 4 cross 2 encoder in which we have 4 inputs and it will generate 2 output lines. If we locate the priority to each input like this in any of the manner, so let's say if I say i3 is having, so if I say i3 is having more priority than i2, then having more priority than i1 and i1 is having more priority than i0 and then decide the boolean expression for the for the encoder then how we can do that let's see it and draw the truth table right so in the truth table let's say we have i0 i1 i2 i3 inputs okay so we have these inputs and we also have two outputs okay so input we are having let's say i3 i2 i1 i0 and output line let's say we are having y1 and y0 so let's say the very first time i am assuming that i1 is high and remaining r0 okay now in that case both y1 and y0 will have zero value because i0 is high right now in case we set i1 is high and because i1 is having higher value than i0 so i0 will become don't care it doesn't affect and rest of the places are let's say zero in that case one we need to represent so y1 will be zero and y0 will be one right because zero one will represent one and input 1 is high right now in case let's say i2 is high so if i2 is high these places will become don't care i1 and i0 because i2 is having higher priority than these and i3 i am assuming as 0 so we will get 2 we need to represent we will get 1 0 here y1 will be 1 and y0 will be 0 finally let's say in last row if we are getting i3 as high these remaining places will become don't care and we will get both y1 and y0 as 1 because we are representing 3 here and 3 can be represented in binary like 1 1 okay so i hope this truth table is clear to everyone now let's find out the boolean expression for y1 and y0 so let's look at here y1 is high at two places and this place we need to represent in terms of boolean expression so this i3 is 0 so i i would say i3 bar i2 is 1 okay so i have written here 1 rather than 1 it is rather than i2 it is 1 actually so here i i am trying to say that i2 is high it is 1 right Whenever I am making I1 is high, this is 1, I0 is high, this is 1, I2, this is 1 and so on. So, it will give us, this place will give us I3 bar I2 and these I don't care. So, either you can consider as 0 or 1, it doesn't affect. So, we do not include them in the expression. Or another place is this, in which we represent I3 as positive and remaining places I don't care so either we include in the boolean expression or not it doesn't affect so this is the boolean expression for y1 let's write for y0 if we talk about y0 it is having positive or you say high value at these two places so once you write for the very first thing here i3 bar i2 bar i1 i3 bar i2 bar i1 
and because this is don't care so we will not include class this second place which is i3 right so this will represent this will represent the expression of these two outputs right so i hope you are able to understand it now there is no possibility to minimize this or either this expression so this will be the final boolean expression of y0 and y1 so this is priority encoder once or twice a question has been asked in gate exam on this priority encoder okay so with this i am closing this lecture thank you